You're now live. Come on, cooperate. Good morning, is it? It is, it's Good live. Morning. Good morning, everyone. Ignimious eye. Why is it dark? Come on. <laughs> what are you laughing at? The delay. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Today in Yuma, I'm Jennifer Blackwell. And I'm Teresa Straub. We are here live on this Cat Shirt Friday on Z93 at Outlaw Country. You can always stream the show live at monstermedia.com or how about Monster Media? Monster Media Yuma. Yuma. Com. <laughs> or Facebook Live. <laughs> yes, and if you do not follow us on Facebook Live, we encourage you to do so. It's just a way to get a behind the scenes of what goes on when Z93, Outlaw Country, and Monster Media Yuma. Dot com. I'll go to commercial break. Jennifer and I stay live the whole entire hour. And it's plus, it's a nice way to interact with the show. If you have any questions or comments for our guests, you can post them right there. Or if you just want to make a comment for any of the topics we are talking about, it's, it can all be done right there on our Facebook live feed. And like I mentioned, it is Cat Shirt Friday, and Lisa just popped in. She Good. loves Cat Shirt Friday. Yes, she does. Good morning, and she will be here tomorrow. Is she bringing that puppy dog? Is it she, Kingsford? Kingsford, yes. She's bringing Kingsford. So I'll send you some puppy pictures. All right, or he, if you want, cute. you can come and... and uh, out and I have to do that. He's adorable. Him. Oh, bring my puppy well, to play with her puppy. <laughs> for Cat Just Shirt kidding. Friday, we have another epic prize this week, and we have to give a huge shout out to the amazing folks over at Advocate Pets and Wildlife Specialists. Yes. Sandra and Brittany, they do so many good things for the community and their entire staff, but they reached out and said, hey, can we contribute something special to this week's giveaway? Well, of course you can. It wasn't just something. It was a lot of it, things. It was, it was a, a lot, lot of things. Something. It's, it, it's, it's a big prize pack in addition to what we're giving away anyway. Oh, that font is small. There we go. Okay, hang on. <laughs> you, got, you got to adjust your readers? I have a bigger monitor next door. Let me just put it that way. <laughs> well, this week's Cat Shirt Friday prize includes from Advocate. They have contributed two spider board games. Now those are appropriate for ages five through nine years of age. Mm -hmm. There's an advocate shirt, hat, some candy, $20 in gift cards from Cold Stone Creamery, Yum. and a $95 value general pest control spray from Advocate. And we've also included a $20 gift certificate from Village and Pizza, a $50 Lotus Day Spot and Salon gift certificate. Oh my goodness. Yuma International Airport has contributed some hand sanitizer. We're getting into flu season. That's mm -hmm. important. And a little stress airplane to squeeze if you're having a rough day. <laughs> it's super cute. I have contributed one of my fabric pumpkins because I just have a whole bunch. <laughs> and four passes to Yuma Nightmares, good for tonight or Tuesday. The overall value of this giveaway is, drumroll, $260. Oh, my goodness. That is a great present. 
It's super easy to enter the contest. All you do, all you need to do is send us a pet selfie. Um, if you if you have any pets, you can take a picture with any of those and send them in. If you have a cat shirt that you're wearing today and following along with our hashtag Cat Shirt Fridays, you can send us a picture of that. If you do not have a pet, all you need to do is just go to Google, pick a stock image, um, and send it on in. We don't want to discriminate if you don't have pets or anything. Um, and all of those entries will get thrown in, and we will pick a winner at noon. Um, and they will win that awesome prize pack. Kingsford's not coming. He's staying with his pet sitter. But, mm. but that's okay. That's, that's okay. That's okay. It, it just it, means I'll have to go over there to see him. It's rep on them to travel sometimes. It is. It is. All right. Well, coming up on the show today, we're going to stay with the Halloween theme. And the Yuma Art Center is going to stop in and talk about the Rocker Hor Rocky Horror Picture Show tomorrow. Awesome. And we have some giveaways for that. So get your dialing fingers ready. Yes. Now, it's not anywhere near time yet. But the number that you will need to call is 343-0993. So program that in your phone. It's also our text line. It is, but you, have, you need the area code for, for the text line. Mm -hmm. Just save it in your phone. That way, if we say, hey, call or text, you know that you are good to go. Mm -hmm. All right, October 26th is the date, and we have several birthdays coming up. Now, on Fridays, we include Friday, Saturday, Sunday birthdays. Yes. And one winner will be drawn on Monday from all of this week's birthday entries to win a free medium sub, chips, drink, and dessert from Firehouse Subs. That's right. The Firehouse Public Safety Foundation saves lives through donation grants. And when you buy more subs, you help save more lives. We want to give a huge shout out to Firehouse for helping us with the birthday shout out. Yes, definitely. <laughs> all right, birthdays on this day, the 26th. Josette Ramos is celebrating, and I think she has a brand new grandbaby too. Aww, happy birthday to her. Happy birthday. Also, Justine Antonelli, she's married to one of our local monsters. She is. She's celebrating. And Jeff Beckenthal is also celebrating a birthday today. And we have birthdays for coming up for tomorrow. Don Don, Don Jacobs is celebrating a birthday. The wonderful Billy Morgan is celebrating his birthday tomorrow <laughs> as well. We love Billy. Nancy Friends. Samantha Bowers and Norma Kennedy. And for Sunday, I think pretty much everyone knows this fella. Yeah. Ronnie Rubino from Ronnie's Pizza is celebrating his birthday on Sunday, and I think that's Junior. Yeah, Ronnie Junior. And then also Buna George is celebrating her birthday Sunday too. So they will all be entered into the yes. drawing for the Firehouse Subs giveaway on Monday. And remember, if you would like to submit a birthday, it can even be your own. Yeah. If I could win, I would send my own in because and, it's right around the corner, but I can't win. <laughs> and you know what? I have to say, I've been seeing a lot more of that, so Good. I think that's pretty awesome. All right. All you need to do, go to monstermediayuma.com, click on the Today in Yuma tab, and there is the, you can see the Firehouse logo. It's, just, it's a Celebrate banner yeah. with a little entry form next to it. Fill that out. Send it in. Someone said the other day, I don't know where to find it. Well, you can always just message us the information. You definitely if, can. If that's easier for you to do, just give us at least 24 hours, except Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We like those by Thursday of yes. this of that week. And Lisa, we we cannot forget Lisa. Her birthday is tomorrow as well. Happy birthday! Happy birthday, Lisa! And I'm glad she's actually going to be here to celebrate because we're going to go and um, experience some of these haunted houses that are around Yuma. <laughs> and she's trying to book you solid. She has booked me solid, but between her, because there is another birthday that we have tomorrow. My little brother Noah turns five, so we have. Um, I want to give him a birthday shout out, but we have his birthday. Day, and then we have all of the Halloween uh, he said, haunted I houses. I swear he's three. No. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> he's five. <laughs> we blinked. So, we yes. did. We did. So lots of awesome birthdays, and we will be celebrating tomorrow. And Mark's little dude is turning one. Wow, on already. Tuesday. Oh, Mark, will you do me a favor and send me that message on Facebook? That way we can get him on the list, please. All right. Coming up on the show today, we have, we mentioned the Rocky Horror Picture Show, the discussion with the Yuma Arts Center. And Yuma Regional Medical Center is sending two guests down. We have Vidi Alta Murano and Kathleen Wolf. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be talking about a walk to remember that will be coming up on November 3rd. And together, they say we walk to remember those tiny lives lost, share memories, and connect with other families on the healing journey of perinatal loss. So a, a very good topic there. I know yeah. many, many, many people affected. So please tune in or share our link with someone you think the conversation might be of interest to. That sounds good. On this day, we have some interesting <laughs> days. Oh, it's also Foodie Delicious Friday. So if you're watching on Facebook Live <laughs> and you're wondering what the heck the feet are, let me just say feet loaf. But you have to put the Foodie Delicious to expand on that. Yeah, she will give you all the details when she comes in later this hour. Today is National 
Financial Crime Fighter Day. Ooh. Okay. Good. And also, National Tennessee Day. Okay. National Day of the Deployed. So very, very important. Very important. Yes, definitely. Should appreciate them every every single day. And it's National Pumpkin Day. I thought it was National Pumpkin Pie Day, but it's Pumpkin, pumpkin Day. Pumpkin Day. And the awesome folks over at Neaters made us a pumpkin pie on Wednesday. So we got a little... That way we could get in the mood for National exactly, Pumpkin Day. Exactly. And they drew a face on it with whipped cream. It's a little jack-o'-lantern jack face. jack o uh -huh. And it was really good. So thank you for that. It's also National Mincemeat Day, which that was one of my mom's favorite pies. And she always got it to herself. Hmm. <laughs> I, I would say... She could have mine. Oh, well, she got all of ours too. <laughs> and I, th I always thought for the longest time that it was some kind of meat pie. It's not. No, no. It it's can be a, alcohol and various fruit, and I yeah. think I know why she liked it now. After yeah. especially, it was only around Thanksgiving. She didn't make one at Christmas, but I think after dealing with family and baking for days, yeah, she needed to have a little whiskey in there, <laughs> yeah, or whatever, whatever you needed yeah. to, to add to it. But it's also National Pharmacy Buyer Day. That's the Friday of last full week in October. Okay. National Frankenstein Friday. <laughs> and I was going to say, I have to hear about this one. This is recognized on the last day, the last Friday in October. And it recognizes author Mary Shelley, the novel Frankenstein, her characters, Dr. Frankenstein, and the monster. Now, dating back to 1800s, Frankenstein's monster is one of the best-known horror characters of all time. Yeah, definitely. And they think his name is Frankenstein, but that's the doctor's name, yeah, that's not, not the, the monster. The scientist's the monster. name. Now, Mary Shelley was just 21 when she created Frankenstein. It was first published in 1818, and it was made famous by Boris Karloff in the movie Frankenstein back in 1931. Now, there are some people that may say, but you already had Frankenstein Day this year. Some people celebrate it on August 30th because that is Mary Shelley's birthday. Oh, okay. But they also recognize it on this day in October because we're so it's close only, to Halloween. It's only fitting. Yes, it is only fitting. And it's National Breadstick Day. Yum. <laughs> I, I, was like, <laughs> I, I caught it. I didn't drop it. <laughs> you almost dropped her <laughs> And this last bit, a little history for you. Mm -hmm. It's National Mule Day. And George Washington played a significant role in the development of the mule population in, Ariz in America, I said mm -hmm. Arizona. He recognized the value of the sturdy animal in agriculture and became the first American breeder. Oh, okay. Oh, there you go. That is fun fact. definitely a fun fact. All right, your national days on this date. And again, a full show coming up. We want to encourage you to get your entries in for Cat Shirt Friday. And we, you have until noon today. Mm -hmm. we, we have people that text them in, people that message them on Facebook, the, your private messages, some that comment with the photo as a response to the topics I posted earlier. You can see the Cat Shirt Friday graphic. It's probably smaller on your phone or larger on your bigger monitor. <laughs> I can barely read it on my laptop here. But that just gives a breakdown of all the prices. But I've also pasted that information mm -hmm. in the description for the post. You can pretty much post them anywhere. I got an email last night. And if you go to our website, the very on the home page, it has the contact information for all of our staff at the bottom. It okay. does. And just look for the pictures. Yeah. And most of us, most of you that watch us on Facebook Live anyway know what we look like. So. <laughs> exactly. <But. laughs> and again, you can send them through Facebook Messenger or you can just send them through the Messenger um, to the station page, um, either myself or Jennifer or any of us. As long as if you have our personal, personal phones, you can go ahead and send them there. We will make sure to get all those entries in. We group them together and we select one winner at random. It's not based on what we think is the cutest or most most creative. Although there's some really cute there ones. There are really cute ones, but it's completely <laughs> random. It so is. get those entries in by noon. And please, we can't emphasize this enough. We want to remind you every single day, no texting and driving. That's Distracted right. driving kills. So it does. don't be doing that. All right, it's today in Yuma. Let's go ahead and take our first break here on the show. The show is brought to you by Classic Accounting. They have been in the Yuma community since 1986. That's over 30 years of tax knowledge, which means you can trust Classic Accounting. Give them a call today at 343-1040. And Sprague Sports, home of Yuma's only indoor shooting range. Sprague's offers firearms training, training classes such as First Shot, Arizona Hunter Safety and Education courses, and Arizona Concealed Carry Weapons courses. You can find Sprague's on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And in honor of Catch Your Friday, Quick Refrigeration started the Sister Friday of Free Filter Friday. <laughs> That means all you need to do is take your old, dirty, dusty air filter down to quick refrigeration today. 
they will swap it out and give you a brand new standard one inch air filter for free because if your air system has to work harder due to a clogged filter, it could lead to premature wearing down of different components. So stop by 190 West 10th Street today for free filter Friday. And our friends over at Advocate Pest and Wildlife Specialist, they are locally owned and have been providing pest control service in the Yuma area for over 20 years. Get your Cat Shirt Friday entries in because you could be the lucky winner of one of those awesome gift baskets that they provided for us for our Cat Shirt Friday prize. But go to Advocate Pest and Wildlife on Facebook because they are going to be doing some other giveaways as well. And Fisher Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Fiat is a locally owned and family run business. They've been serving the Yuma area since 19. 1982. And if you're looking for a quality new or used vehicle, visit the dealership on 32nd Street. It's Today in Yuma. We'll be back after the break with the Yuma Art Center. Or the Historic Yuma Theater. <laughs> Same spot. Same thing. Hello. Come on down. How are you doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. I wasn't sure which Hi. one was coming down. Yeah. So. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> Who made it? Janice, she's our foodie-licious. Yeah. She cooks on Friday for us and then puts all the recipes on our website. So beautiful. All right, you have the giveaway for us? Yes, we have the giveaway. We're good. We're surrounded by food. I love good people. And it's Friday. I know. <laughs> and it's a beautiful day. It, it is. is. I'm human, so I, this is a perfect weather for me. I know. So I can't. <laughs> I don't mind a little bit cooler because then yeah, you can yeah. bundle up. Now, as it is, you're not sweating by the middle of the day. True, true. Actually, right. yesterday we, it was a little bit. Hot. It was we, warm. We had the opening of uh, the unveiling of the unreal. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw and that. It was fantastic, but it was like, ooh, mm -hmm. had the middle. Yep. <laughs> so fantastic. All right, can we get Janice over real quick to do a call in? If you want, if you put Food delicious. Yeah. your ticket. Can you come yeah. do a giveaway for Car, an image? Oh, I just want to thank you. Thank you. How do I say that? I just want to show the image of the on Facebook Live. Fantastic. Do you want me to cover the light? <laughs> I know where. Right. Oh, perfect. It did. That's awesome. Thank you. All right, our Facebook people. We're going to take the first two callers. As soon as we give the cue to call, you have to wait a minute. Not yet. But you can have your have it ready to go and just hit that green button on your phone. Okay, we're going to pick what numbers? Seven. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she knows. Number seven yeah. and what? Nine. Seven, nine. Perfect. All right. Each one gets a pair. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Angelica. Hello. It's a brownie? Yes, it's a cookie that she dusted with the edible metallic. I wish I was a little bigger. I try. Jeff emailed me and said, Do you want to go to lunch? I'm like, you want to come eat feet with me? I'll share a foot. I love Halloween. In my house, I go. I try and go full out for my boys. And they love it. How old are they? 12 and 8. Oh, awesome. I like it too, but it's fun putting it, <laughs> it, putting it apart. I know. Yeah. Same thing with Christmas, though, too. It's like I tend to probably go a little bit overboard. That's me and like my, my Well, kids. you put up a lot of trees. How many Memorial do trees and I'm wondering if I that. should migrate my cat tree with my memorial tree this year. Oh, hmm. that would be cute. No, I think you should still do two different ones. All right. But I'll have to put her picture on the memorial yes. tree. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you should do with mom and still, I think you should still do the memorial tree and your All cat right. tree. I need some new cat ornaments. Oh, good to know. Oh. Sherry <laughs> 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 gave me the cutest. It's a silver ball, just a ball. a ball, and it had whiskers and an ear, and I think it lost an ear. Did it? Yeah. I don't know so. where the ear went. You just need a glue gun and some. Felt. It should meet our witch. You, you don't do everything don't with do glue gun. Glue gun. No, not <laughs> Numa. <laughs> not Numa. <laughs> have we you not learned anything from that? <laughs> from my, I made a crown. <laughs> I made a flower crown. And I got tired of wearing it because it got warm, mm -hmm. so I took it off and left it in my car. Oh. <laughs> it was like a blob. No glue done. gun. But never wow. do that again. I left shoes in my car, and with the heat, 
What happened? <gasps> yes. <gasps> yep. The, the bottom part of the sole. Wow. <laughs> all right. All right. Here we go. Woo. Welcome back to Today in You Mind, Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. Our next guest with us is here. We have Anna. Hang on one sec. My, my headphones are being are weird again. Are you and I've got like an 87 foot cable. Yeah. Anita is awesome, but not when I'm. There you go. Not when I'm fishing for the end of my cable here. <laughs> I move around a lot, so yeah. it's like, okay, wait a minute. Our guest today is Anna, and she is here to talk about the Rocky Horror Picture Show that will be taking place tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow, Saturday, October 27th. All right, now, it's going to be at what location? It'll be in a beautiful historic human theater. It'll okay. be for the second year in a row. Last year, we had such a good, good crowd. We had a long, long lines. So everything starts tomorrow. October 27th, I, we open the doors at 10 p.m. at 10 p.m. and uh, the madness parade, the costume parade at 11 p.m. and the movie starts at midnight. All right. Well, we are going to make your day right now. If you're lucky, caller number seven and number nine, you're each going to win one pair of tickets to the show tomorrow. And what's the value, Anna? The value, each of them is seven bucks. Okay, $7. so a $14, $14 value for value. each of our winners. Caller number seven and caller number nine right now at 343-0993. That's 343-0993. Is there an age limit for the show? Yes, eight, they must be 18 plus. Okay, and that's what that's a requirement to win our yes, contest. So it is. And because we will be asking for IDs. And this is, you know, it's a fun, fun event, but it, it's a little wild. <laughs> and it's fun, you know, perfect in time for Halloween. It is, it is. And if you've never seen the Rocky Horror Picture Show and, mm -hmm. and this is something you're interested in, I suggest you definitely look it up, maybe yes. watch a trailer or two, just so you kind of know what you're in for because it, it it is a lot of fun. And the way that you guys do it, you guys are going to be playing the, the actual movie on the screen, yes. but you also have a shadow cast. Yes, I was, yeah. It's like, well, this one, like people who probably have have never this is a musical it's a comedy and it's a horror mm -hmm. and it's going to feature a shadow cast just like I, how you mentioned we did auditions and we have around nine to twelve actors who will be acting out during the movie so it'll be fun they will be dancing they'll be doing the time war <laughs> that i still do not know how to do it you know and we're also going to be selling insane. pot bags that has this for you to have the best evening uh -huh. um but Going back to it, hmm, I forgot what was it, what was I saying, but um, it'll be throughout the whole movie. Actors will be acting and dancing, and we encouraging uh, our audience to participate. Mm -hmm. We're encouraging them to come in a costume if you like, you know, choose the best character you, you like and come dress as that character. Like I said, it was fun. We will be having specialty drinks that you know in time just for Halloween and to mimic the the. Harry Rock, the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and it'll be fantastic. Last year we had a ginormous line, so if people don't want to do line, just hop on Yuma Showtickets.com and get your tickets because we had a long line all around the arts. There, there are tickets left though. Yes, we okay. still have. So you definitely want to get your your tickets because, like she said, like Anna said, if you want to skip the line, that's the best idea. I um, think a lot of people they enjoy the line. Yes. That's yeah, their that's why aspect. this year we we're opening everything at 10 p.m. because people are like, no, open it more. They're inside taking photos and getting. We're gonna be selling Jello shots. I was gonna say It'll this is de this is definitely geared towards an adult event. Yes. Again, you must be 18 or older, and there will be adult beverages, and yes. and so they want to make sure everything. Make works. sure you bring identification. Yeah. Definitely. Checking yes, IDs. They will be, and it's it's, and it's just to be on the safe side. You know, everything is making sure that everybody's having a great time, a fantastic time, and just for uh, you make last year how how you're saying there's people who enjoy the line. That's why we did it at 10 p.m. opening the doors, mm -hmm. and then at 11 p.m. is the parade. And we have great photos from last year, obviously, because they're a little wild. We're not, <laughs> so, you know, we're yeah. just keeping them to <laughs> us and email them to them because yeah. like, send me photos, so we'd be emailing them to the people who took photos, but it was a really, really fun. We had over, I don't know, almost 500 people last year. Oh, that's, year. A, that's a good turnout. they waited, you know, like they just wanted to be in line, having photos with their friends, having selfies, and it'll be in, in our beautiful historic human theater and just the ambiance, adding all that. It in. just sets the scene, doesn't yes. it? Yes, it's, it's a really fun. And I, I think just the shadow cast, the actors, it adds a whole different element to it and kind of brings it there. It, you know, it's not just something you're watching on the screen, they're experiencing Exactly, it. and like, you know, last year, um, our audience was fantastic. We had so much participation, and that's one of the things that makes this even better. And because they, they want to, 
you know, the actors are inviting, hey, you know, come and dance with us. So people are standing up and doing the time warp. And so it's, it's just in time for Halloween. If you like Halloween, this is your time. Go and have a little fun. Have a, get a little wild. And it's, it's a cold following. Yes. People love it. And I bet you're going to have a lot of the same people from last year who yes. are now making that a tradition. And who are like, when is it? When is it? You know, can I buy 10 tickets? You can buy how many you want. <laughs> how many you want. As long as seats are available. Yes, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, we have actually have, uh, we, we have, we sit over 643 seats. So we have enough. Plenty There's space. Room. Plenty of room. But I do know that they're going they're selling in. All right, and the the line starts at 10 tomorrow night? 10 p.m. Doors open at 10, so you can make line at 8 if you want, however, but doors will open at 10 p.m. All right. Well, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. I was downtown last year when um, when you guys did it, and it was earlier in the evening, but you, everybody was already out in their costume, yes. and you could see them, and I, it was funny because my cousin was going, and I said, are you going to, she's like, oh, she was so excited. She was decked out from head to toe, and they were kind of hopping around downtown, and then um, the line, you, they just start forming that line, and it was nice to see everybody that was participating. Exactly. It looked like it was definitely going to be a lot of fun. It's fun, and I mean, like, I'm an adult, but I love Halloween, and maybe I don't want to go to the big old parties, but this for me is like, ooh, you know, it's just I can dress however I want, it's perfect, and then adult beverages. Does Janice have our winners? Um, I think she's still waiting for caller number nine. Okay, caller number nine at 343-0993. We have another pair of tickets for the Rocky Horror Picture Show, the the shadow performance taking place at the, um, the at the historic human Historic's theater mm -hmm. at 254 south main street yes. correct mm -hmm. i say that a lot that's why i know that <laughs> forget my own address but i know that <laughs> and again you can get tickets online at yumashowtickets.com yes okay. if you'd like to get those and seven dollars a piece yes seven dollars all right it's gonna be a lot of fun very fun all right well you'll have to share some of the photos that you were able to share with us i will Maybe I staff. Promise you. are you guys getting dressed up too yes actually our staff our part-timers they love Love it, and they already have their costumes. It's gonna be fantastic. All right, well, it's gonna be a good time. Thank you so much for coming Thank in today, you. Anna. Thank we appreciate it. Me. All right, it's today in Yuma. It's time to take our Lotus Day Spa and Salon selfie with Anna out in the courtyard. Remember, YumaShowTickets.com is the address to get those tickets online. Mm -hmm. Today in Yuma is brought to you by Classic Accounting. With 30 years of tax knowledge, you can trust Classic Accounting with your business's monthly pay monthly bookkeeping needs, including those payroll taxes. Those yes. are never fun. Call them and let them do it at 343-1040. And Sprague Sports, visit their partner location, Truckmates. With these fall and cooler temperatures, brings desert trails and off-road adventures. Visit Truckmates for BDS suspensions and make sure your truck or Jeep is ready for all of that. You can find Truckmates on 32nd Street next to Lowe's. And it is free filter by Friday at Quick Refrigeration. And you know, when your air system has to work harder because that filter's clogged, it could lead to premature wearing down of different components. Mm -hmm. It could be costly. So take some measures and change out those filters on a regular basis. On Fridays, Quick invites you to bring your old dirty air filter down to 190 West 10th Street and they will swap it out and give you a brand new standard one inch air filter for free. That's Quick Refrigeration at 190 West 10th Street. And our friends over at Advocate Pest and Wildlife Specialists, they are locally owned and have been providing pest control services in the Yuma area for over 20 years. They are licensed with the Arizona Game and Fish Department for Safe Humane wildlife relocation you can give them a call today at 928-343-9149 better yet go like them on facebook and fisher chrysler dodge jeep ram fiat is an honored recipient of the 2018 fca customer first award for excellence that's given to dealerships exemplifying extraordinary care and dedication to their customers it's today Yuma. we'll be back with vd and kathleen from Yuma regional medical center after the break on z93 and outlaw country Thank you, thank you. Yes, we appreciate it so much. Anytime. We have so many events going on. I know. <laughs> you can always tell us. Where <laughs> <laughs> Most people are, are commenting. Don't forget, we're doing this in Summerton. We have this here. It's the, it's the motorcycle show at the Civic Center. So many things this weekend. Smile. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And anytime that you guys need anything, we'll do it. 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 We'
I told you we're very close. Yeah, we're very <laughs> Thank you, Janice. We're going to end right, morning. I think we'll sit over in the, the corner there. We'll okay. put you right next to her. Okay. Hi, how are you? We'll get a, nice to see you again. You too. Thank you, ma'am. Hello, how are you? Good morning. Oh, long time no see. I know. You doing well? Yes, very good. Very good. Very good. Good morning. 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 Oh and our microphone is Those so heat. <laughs> Don't they look delicious? No. <laughs> 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 Give me athlete slips or something. <laughs> is that the man? Yeah, it, or was it? No, oh, I think it's onion. onion. Yeah, it's onion. Oh, onion. In the middle. Worse. And the toes. Oh, else. it's meat. Yeah. It's <laughs> I was. Have you guys ever watched the show Nailed It? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so they were trying to make this cobra last night. My six-year-old is really into it, so yeah. she likes to watch it when her sister's at ballet with mom. And they were trying to make this cobra, and it was just hilarious trying to get it to like stand up and. Uh -huh. Like things were falling over, and they were trying to use Rice Krispie treats to mold it. I know you have to like the and Rice Krispies set for a yes. while. I, I, I don't know. And yeah, they're they too were, sticky at first, so you have to wait just a little bit. They had to make rats to like wrap the cobras oh because my they had like God. an example. Yeah, and these were all people that weren't really like culinary with bacon. <laughs> and so it was hilarious to try to watch them try to make oh this cobra my gosh. it's like the version the like the pinterest fails we need yeah, something to try like that, and recreate yeah. well, she, did, she definitely did a good job no, she did a good job They're so gross <laughs> <laughs> those are snacks that they, do not tempt me they, 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 <laughs> you can smell them too yeah you can yes. smell them trick or treat smell janice's feet oh <laughs> that's funny and it's certainly getting a double take yeah, amen <laughs> All right, here we go. Pull it up close and, and talk down. right into it. It's okay, don't be terrified. <laughs> it's just going to be a conversation. <laughs> yeah, okay. The hard part's done. The people that can see you already see you, uh, so you're yeah. fine. <laughs> You'll be fine. You'll and be you got this, girl. The flyer's on page three, and then I have info right after that. It's the third, correct? I, I'm that? getting the dates yeah, mixed the third. up. The it's third. the third. <laughs> I keep getting the third and the fourth mixed up. All right, we ready? Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. We are live on Z93 Outlaw Country and Facebook Live. And we want to congratulate our winners. We have John Cardenas. He won tickets to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. And Elias Castro. Well, congratulations, all of you. You guys are going to go have a good time. That's right. Now, next up in the studio, we have two lovely ladies joining us today. We have Vidi Altamirano. And we have Kathleen Wolf, the supervisor of spiritual care at Wire MC. And we are going to be talking about a walk to remember, ladies. And... Go ahead, Kathleen, give us some details about the walk and why it began. The walk is November 3rd. It begins at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. and will run till about 9 a.m. at the Yuma West Wetlands Park. This is the ninth annual Walk to Remember, so it's been going on for nine years. And it's really to honor and celebrate all of those babies that have been lost. All right, and I see that at YRMC that you average about 38 cases of perinatal loss a year. Explain what perinatal loss is. Perinatal loss is any death of a baby from any time in utero to up to 28 days of life. Okay, and Vidi, we have you here today because you experienced such a tragic loss. Yes. All right, tell, tell us about your story. I know it's difficult, but we want others to know that they're not alone and that they right. share in the same situation. Thank you. Um, I lost my, my daughter. I was 35 weeks. Um, she had a genetic disorder. Um, it's called trisomy 13. Um, the doctors didn't test for it. Um, which I don't have a history of it. They usually normally do it with history. Um, so I lost her. She only lived for 19 hours. 19 mm -hmm. hours? Yes. Oh, we're right. very sorry. Thank you. But so many individuals go through this type mm -hmm. of loss and they might think that they're alone. Correct. But they're not. They're not, no. And it's, 
it's hard. It is. It's very, very hard. I'm not going to lie. But well, I think the three of us here from the station all experienced a loss yeah. ourselves, too. Yeah, so it, we, we were not as far along as you were. But again, sometimes people do feel isolated and think that, why did it happen to me? Or I'm the only one. But there are others that share and, and they understand. Correct. And there are a bunch of feelings that go along with that, yes. too. You know, what could I have done differently? Correct. It just, you know, things happen, right. unfortunately. Correct. And it's it, it's a it's a very sad situation, but what are some of the cause the common causes, Kathleen? Well, that's one of the things that's most hard, Jennifer, because most of the time when people experience a loss, there's not a clear, definitive cause, and so that oftentimes complicates the grief experience because we as human beings Wanting are naturally yeah. we want know, answers. wanting to know we want answers and unfortunately most of the time there are not real clear definitive answers well how is this type of loss different for a parent than maybe another family member um, this type of loss is really different and significant because in with other losses you have time to create memories and stories with your loved one you have you know birthday celebrations you um, celebrate milestones like weddings and hopes and dreams and with a perinatal loss the parents the f extended family don't have that time or that opportunity to create those memories so the staff of labor and delivery as well as the spiritual care department I think really does an exceptional job at the hospital to to create help create whatever memories we can with families um, with whatever's important to them and their faith system. Mm -hmm. For example, they take the labor and delivery staff does such an amazing job taking pictures. Um, we might suggest to the family that they read a story to their baby or sing a song, you know, that would be meaningful or create different um, faith experiences such as a blessing. Um, we create certificates of blessing that they can take home as well as any piece of clothing or blanket that was with the child, all of that goes home with the family in a memory box. And they're, they're very special things that they can associate mm -hmm. too, like you said, the song or the story that more, helped them create additional. More of a additional. positive memory and, and not so much that you know you lost this, this child, but bring the positive memories in so that way you could hang on to those and, and hopefully help you with your grieving. Absolutely. Now you mentioned the perinatal loss committee at Yuma Regional Medical Center, Kathleen, and it was formed to help those patients who had a miscarriage, stillbirth, or a neonatal death, and you provide bedside support in all, many of these situations too. In all of those situations, okay. absolutely. All right, and how large is your team? Uh, the team, the perinatal loss committee, is about 10 different interdisciplinary members. Okay, and Vidi, did you find that that was helpful in your situation? Oh yes, they were all wonderful. I can't thank those nurses and the doctors enough. Like they were just amazing. And that, that's got to be such a tough job, mm -hmm. anyway. You're with someone, and you you have these expectations of taking your baby home and raising that child, mm -hmm. and just mm -hmm. visions of a family life mm -hmm. together. Right. And then oftentimes it's stripped away in, in your situation very quickly too. Right. You know, what, what memories were you able to take away from that experience? Uh, they took pictures, they gave me um, a little plaque with her handprints and her footprints. Um, I was not able to hold her because um, she was in NICU because of her condition. Um, but they took care of her. I mean, they did everything for me. They do a phenomenal they job. Do. They, they, they do. Sure do. Yes, I can't. Those nurses, they were, they were really amazing. That is they, fantastic. Yes. And that's got, again, it's got to be one of the challenging areas to go into, knowing that you might have to deal with that, what was that, 38 cases a year, mm -hmm. too. I mean, it's absolutely <coughs> heartbreaking. Yes. People reached out to me years ago for the Na Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep, a nonprofit organization mm -hmm. who takes newborn photos like that. And and I, I, will, I think I've grown to a point now where, I, because I see the, the benefit and mm -hmm. I see the joy that that situation can bring to someone down the road. And I, th I think I've grown, like I said now, but I, year, about 10 years ago I said, I don't think I could handle it. I think it would just be too heartbreaking for me. But knowing that those individuals may have just a few photos, right. you know, anything to, to help them with, you know, the memories are always gonna yeah. be there, but you like having the images too. Right. Yes, the images oh, yeah. too. 
So you guys are having this walk to remember, which I think is fantastic because it, it gives everybody a chance to, you know, to share those memories that they have of their children and connect with other families that may have had similar experiences. So when we, when people go to this uh, walk, what can they expect when they get there? So there will be a registration booth. Mm -hmm. They'll have the opportunity to register and as well as provide some demographic information so we can um, invite them in years to come. Mm -hmm. um, they can expect to, um, you know, see other people who have been mm -hmm. in a similar situation and have the opportunity to walk in honor of their um, child. Mm -hmm. They will also um, have the time to experience um, a release of doves Aww. as well as uh, a prayer. And registration is from 8 to 8.30. Yes. And this, again, is taking place a week from tomorrow. Can't believe it's already November 3rd. A week from <laughs> tomorrow at West Wetlands Park. And I, I've seen a lot of people post on social media about October being, hang on, it's on my next page here. It's pregnancy, it's National Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. And in 1988, late President Ronald Reagan signed a proclamation designating that is another one of the recognized events during the month of October and certainly one that that does uh, warrant recognition because like I said so many people have experienced it all right well we certainly hope there's a big crowd out there if they have any questions you can or you can also register by calling you can call 336-7434 and again this is taking place with registration starting at 8 the walk or the the 8.30 to 9.30 time frame will be the memorial service. You mentioned the releasing of doves. There will be prayer. And families are invited to read a poem, a prayer, or share a memory of their baby during the ceremony. And closing comments will be at 9.30 in the morning. And, and the walk isn't very far? No, it's two laps around the um, pond oh, at perfect. West Wetlands Park. Okay, perfect. And that's such a beautiful serene area. It is. I love that spot. All right, well, again, today, if you have any questions or you'd like to register, call 336-7434, and they will certainly help you out. And, again, it's the ninth annual Walk to Remember. We want to thank you both so much for coming in today. And, like I said, it's a tough topic to talk about, but we want individuals to know. And it's, we don't, we're not just saying moms, too, yeah. because it's a loss that the entire family suffers. Yeah, absolutely. And bring them all out. You know, we, we want them to share in these memories also. All right, it's time to take our Lotus Day Spa and Salon Selfie out in the courtyard. Again, we want to thank Vidi Altamirano and Kathleen Wolf for joining us today. They are here on behalf of Yuma Regional Medical Center and a walk to remember. I will go ahead and share that flyer on our website, too, if you'd yeah. like to go to the Community Matters tab at monstermediayuma.com. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you. All right, we'll be back after the break with Foodie Foodielicious. So those of you watching on Facebook Live who've been wondering what on earth we have in front of us today, <laughs> she will provide those details. She definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> today in Yuma Z93, Outlaw Country, and Facebook Live. Thank you. Good job. Breathe. <laughs> I Were you holding your breath the whole time? <laughs> oh, thank you. You're welcome. I think we're going to do it right here so we don't get weird spots. Definitely. I'm going to back and freeze when we're coming out. We've got to be there He's super tall. He's always going back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. We, we, we can actually scoot right here in the middle. Just as long as we're going sideways. Maybe. Right, Darren. Come right back here. Get the tall dude in the back. <laughs> Ready? Smile. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Darren's like, my whole life yeah. I've never been able to be oh, front. It was a great day. You're very welcome. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. Bye, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Oh, no problem. I feel like my soft Thank you. We'll see you later. Bye. Bye, Terry. Your foot? Don't know. I think he was the other people may have wanted to say it, but he actually expressed it. He's like, oh. Meatloaf. First, he didn't know it was meat. I don't know what he wow, thought I'm it really was. Wow, I'm good at brownies or something. <laughs> Make it look that realistic. <laughs> Let's open this now. That yes. The phone has done its due diligence. Because it would have been so loud for you guys. Yeah. And I can't turn that part down, so I'm like, ah. 
And so I always make sure people are waiting in there too. I tell them, it's gonna get loud right now because the one time when someone came over and said, oh, some of your machinery's beeping. And I was just a <laughs> You need to come get it. I was like, it's just a phone work. I didn't put it. Can you see the rest in pieces from that angle? Yeah, I'm just getting some, some aerials. I'll get some from the other side. Some too. aerials. <laughs> With my drone. This is everybody. You too, Carol. Thank you. Oh, we had dinner with my mom. I saw time. Amy's exciting announcement. Amy? Yes. Well, we'll talk about that later. Amy? I'm not there. That's what I thought. Alrighty. Oh, that was an awkward. <laughs> I know, my like, Amy. <laughs> How rude. How rude. How rude. Which one was it that said that? It was the middle child. It was the middle kid on Rudy? It was House. Full House. How rude. No, I, thought was was, I thought it was Cosby's show. No. No. Oh, Michelle. No, it no oh, Michelle's Michelle. the baby. It's it wasn't Michelle. It was Wait, the is Michelle one. the middle one? I don't remember. No, Michelle was the baby. The baby. So it was the middle one. <sighs> Arsha Marsha Marsha. No, I'm kidding. Jan, Jan, Jan. She always said it. Are you ready? Oh, rude. <laughs> I don't know it's her, but I can't remember her name. Go ahead. <laughs> Stephanie Tanner. There you go. Oh, that was bugging okay. me. Welcome back to Today in Yuma. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Teresa. And I'm Foodylicious. Yummy. Yummy. I'm not so sure about this. <laughs> what? It's a theme meal. <laughs> Halloween is a fun time. You should do theme meals. <laughs> no, you, uh, you have gone out of your way <laughs> to certainly create something very Halloween-y, ghoulish today. And it would be so fun. I remember my kids were little. They used to like to, to, I used to like to make their plates very fun when they were eating dinner and stuff. So that way it wasn't just like, hey, sit down for dinner. And it gave them something to talk about too. When they went to their friends like, hey, does your mom make feet loaf? No, what? So this is a good way for them to stand out different from the other kids too. You can do it in a large thing. So what she's saying ew about is because I made meatloaf today, but I made it feet loaf instead for Halloween. And I made them four little individual feet for each one of us ladies instead. Normally at home I would make a larger foot and it would just be one big foot that you would serve. <laughs> it sounds really weird if you're just walking. If you're just tuning in, it's not real feet. There's a disclaimer. This is where Facebook Live definitely <laughs> uh, plays an integral part in what Janice is doing because... Um, it was funny because I walked in the studio and, and you can smell it smelled delicious and then Jen goes well have you seen what she made I said like, no not yet and I walk in and I was like okay <laughs> so do you have feet molds that you use to do no, this? No I hand sculpted the feet <laughs> so you know you just take uh, this was about two pounds of hamburger I only made four little ones and you take that you make a meatloaf mixture so it basically was made of meat some breadcrumbs some egg salt pepper oregano garlic you know, certain herbs that you like in your meatloaf. Mm -hmm. Then I just divided it into four even portions so that each foot could be around the same size. And I just molded the foot, only gave it four toes, and um, made it the, the meat come up a little bit so you'd have like an ankle bone area. Mm -hmm. Then I took some pearl onions, because they're smaller, cut them in half, and the top part you shoved down into the ankle meat part so it looks like the bone has been cut. So when you Look, cook it, it looks like cooked cook bone. And then um, where the toes were, you take another little piece of onion and you cut little toenails and stick them on, and then put these just on a pan with parchment paper, put them in the oven, cook them for about, mm, it's gonna range, you know, depending how big you made your feet or not. But uh, I did it about 30 minutes till they were goldeny brown on the outside. That would be the video on your oven. But They need a pedicure. And they look so <laughs> They're just, well, they're not supposed to be pretty. They're so funny. <laughs> I love how they look and how the meat shrinks up around the onion at the top. And then it actually looks kind of like it's separating like a bone. So that was the one. So those were feet loaf. And then your other ones were uh, brownie grave sites. Mm -hmm. So I just did uh, use my mini muffin pan. It has about eight in there. Take a brownie mix. I just got one off the shelf that I prefer. Get all the stuff that that mix says. And I just separated it into the eight mini loaves cook them according to the direction about 20 minutes and when they come out they they'll be a little fluffy so you want to take a spoon kind of flatten them down so your ground so is they more, look more yeah. like a grape site mm -hmm. and then when your brownie dries and 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 comes out of the oven it gets that little crinkly top on the back so it looks like dirt and i just had some little bones that have 
they were candy bones that looked like they're bloody bones and I just put a couple on there and for the gravestones I was like what am I going to use for those and so I got an Oreo cookie to cut them in you know open them up took out the filling and used a uh, silver spray food spray oh okay and so I just sprayed them so those are Oreos those are Oreos yeah okay and I just sprayed the inside part where it's smoother let them dry and then I have a pin that's a food marker and I just wrote R.I.P. on it and stuck it at the top part of the grave so it looks like a gravestone. So it was really, that was a hard one to keep the kids away from last night. <laughs> so like, can I have, and you could put like a gummy worm if you wanted to, so you it looked like really, it was gummy yeah, worm. Yeah, yeah, you could do it that way, but it was just that way, and they're nice and easy, you can carry them away, they're good and sweet, and then the third one, because again, gluten-free kid, I always have to have a dessert option that if someone can have flour, so I want to have those options out there. I just did Rice Krispie treats, but I did them in different batches so I could put a ring around the pans and make them so they look like candy corn colors. Those those look awesome. So that way, you know, they're, they don't have candy corns in them. <laughs> they don't taste awesome. like candy corns. I think that's the only thing she's going to eat. The way she, <laughs> no, I like the brownies. Well, and you like hamburger. I mean, it's I'll, not... I'll eat a toe. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. no. I like cooked onions. Some people don't like cooked onions, so I... I, I, I do. I, I will sample it. I, it just gives it a great look. And when they, I was making them, the kids were like, oh, we're having feet? No, we aren't getting the feet. Those are for work. I molded them yesterday and put them in the fridge with foil on them. And the kids were like, why are these feet in the fridge? <laughs> because I wanted to cook them this morning before work so they'd be nice and fresh. But, yeah. So Who knows what you'll find in my fridge? <laughs> you can get all of these details of all of these different recipes at MonsterMediaYuma.com just by clicking on Janice's Foodie-licious page. And Janice, where did you get all of your ingredients? Well, that's funny because yesterday when I was walking around Albertsons, because I go to my Albertsons on 24th, and I was trying to think, what could I make for headstones? What could I make? For, and I was walking around looking at different things, and people were looking at me down the aisle. I was like, what? why is this lady just shopping? What is she coming <laughs> is up she with doing? this time? <laughs> and so then the, the nice gal in the meat department she's what are you making this week and I was tell her she's like oh they're gonna be like feet I was like I'll bring you a picture so then who knows maybe they can make them closer to uh, Halloween and they could sell them oh that's a good idea I, I don't know, you know they, they can already be molded and yeah. you can take them home they might made. scare a few people um with a scare a few people away with those <laughs> no way Anita's mom was watching and she said that looks really good she said I wish I could be there so Anita said she'll freeze hers and share it when she comes down in a few weeks <laughs> so oh when she gets fro old frozen feet, feet loaf. she gets frozen feet frozen feet loaf. <laughs> that just sounds delicious <laughs> and I normally would just do it like some mashed potatoes or whatever you want to do do the other stuff that's fun I take hot dogs sometimes and make little lines and put little make them look like fingers uh -huh. you can put the little onions on that and so when you roast them and then it looks like little fingernails and you could on these uh, meatloaf also at the top get a little bit of ketchup if you wanted and put it so it kind of looks like it drips down where the bone is cut and it's just fun for kids. Depends on how gory you want to get. It's fun for kids. It you know? mixes it up a little bit. It makes it fun. Our food right. should not just be like hey sit down and eat. You should enjoy it. Well speaking of enjoying your food someone is going to be enjoying a meal at 251 downtown. They are and they've added a few things to their menu so you guys need to go down there and check it out. Mm -hmm. They have added a lot more keto items also and you guys are going to really like them. I sampled some the other day. Uh, 251 are my sponsors. They're amazing people. You guys really should go down to their restaurant. Uh, they're always coming up with new ideas. They're trying to make sure that your experience is nice and they have a great patio front and back that you guys can enjoy. I was actually there yesterday because they uh, did a takeover for Carla Zarbeck and it was, I have to say, it was fantastic to see the community and Carla's family and friends come out to support her. But the staff there at 251 did a fantastic job at getting one, everyone taken care of and it's funny because every time I go in there Danielle's like you're not going to get your normal right you're going to try something new exactly. well I haven't had last time I went I tried something new and I actually wanted my normal what my normal is is the chef's um, French tip with the tri-tip and the pepper jack cheese um, it has pico de gallo on it and of course I have to get jalapeno my mac and cheese jalapeno mac and you cheese have to. I don't care if it matches with what you're eating or not you yeah. to get it Kevin actually tried something new he tried the Korean tacos which he absolutely loved those are amazing he good. absolutely loved but one of the things I tried that I had not tried 
tried before was one of her fresh margaritas. And I had a cucumber, which I'm not a super fan of cucumber, but I had a cucumber, a spicy cucumber margarita, and it was delicious. And she goes, well, you know, we do make everything by hand. Like, they actually get all of the, the fruits or what, because they do, they have different kinds, of course, but, you know, they'll get the cucumbers and they mash them up and they put the spices in the jalapenos and, and they mash them all together. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was definitely, like I said, I'm not a super fan of cucumbers, but it was delicious. Well, was and so that good. would have gone great with, I tried something new the last time too, and it was kind of like their um, Jalisco style shrimp cocktail, and it comes in a nice big cup mm. with chips, and you could put it on there. It was so good. It would have been a nice meal. It was really good. So oh, all we talk about is food some days. Well, that's uh, that, I'm fine with that. It just makes me really hungry though. Well, all right. My name is Foodylicious. I'm not going to talk sports with you. <laughs> All right. Well, we have a winner. We do. And the winner this week is Tony Saroy. Congratulations, Congratulations Tony. Tony. What did Tony win? $25 gift certificate to enjoy at 251 Downtown Twisted Kitchen. And how can someone win next week's giveaway? You click on MonsterMediaYuma.com. Just go onto our webpage. Up there you'll see the Foodie Delicious tab. Click it and right underneath the newest recipe is an entry form. Just fill it out. It takes like two seconds. All right. Very busy weekend out there. Very busy. You know, I'm going to actually be uh, broadcasting live tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Come hang out with me and my Z crew. We are going to be at the Yuma Mesa Shopping Center. We are going to be talking to a few of the different uh, establishments there at the Yuma Mesa Shopping Center. And we'll have the prize wheel. We're going to have some hot dogs and sodas. And again, like I said, I'm going to have my uh, Z crew there. And we'll be there for a couple hours. Come hang out with us. All right. And tonight is the first night of the Haunted House Ooh. at 1308 East 25th Street. And a portion of the proceeds from this go to Fight with Benny. They are looking for a minimum $1 donation. It opens one half hour after dark until 11 o'clock tonight. Mm -hmm. And same thing will be in place for tomorrow night if you'd like to check that out. we all, Children under 8 are free. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the Yuma Nightmares Haunted House. And several of us are going to be heading on over to mm -hmm. that with some friends and family to, to uh, maybe haunt their doorstep. Uh. That is taking place. <laughs> and Teresa will be having some giveaways for... You can't go to the Saturday show, but you can go to next Tuesday show. Yeah, exactly. They will be on the prize will at her live broadcast tomorrow. So check that out, add that out if you're, you still want to go but haven't gotten your tickets yet. And we have the ASU El Diablito event taking place tonight. Jan is correct? Yes, correct. And it's at the Colorado River State Historic Park, formerly known as Quartermaster Depot. Or previously The Crossing. <laughs> 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 yes, that's tonight. So go and it's a great fundraiser. They use it towards scholarships. Go in your best costume. Uh, it's a different price, I believe, if you don't have a costume. I think it's five dollars more if you don't yeah. dress up. Yeah, so they would encourage you to dress up. It's definitely more fun. dress up. It is. Use your creative side. There is definitely a lot of things going on. Um, and there's in Summerton. They also have their haunted house that mm -hmm. is open from six to ten p.m. tomorrow, and then Halloween also. We want to encourage you guys, you know, it is, uh, this is usually the weekend when Halloween follows, uh, falls on the weekday. This is usually the weekend that everybody's having their Halloween parties. I know downtown is having their pub crawl and Ricky's other place, or excuse me, Jimmy D's is actually having their ha Halloween party um, tomorrow as well. So definitely want to encourage you guys, be safe out there. There is definitely lots of alternatives so that you do not have to drink and drive. Um, and we, again, be safe and it just like if it was Halloween, be careful for the kids because they're going to be, there's a lot of different festivals going on, kids in costume. Um, just encourage you guys to be safe out there. And speaking of safety, we cannot stress enough the importance of if you are out walking or riding yes. or biking, you have a stroller out, please make sure that you are wearing something reflective. Oh. I know some of the bicycles, I, I encounter a lot of them on Avenue B early in the morning, making that the ride from Somerton now that the weather's nicer. They do have the flashing lights on, but some have still been wearing darker biking outfits. And uh, I would like to be able to see you a little bit better. Yeah. We've had people also, some unfortunate situations this week. Very sadly, we had a fatality last night just off 16th and B. A woman was struck by a vehicle. And please make sure you're using crosswalks. Right. Don't go in the middle of the streets. It may seem easy right then, but it's not lit well. It, nobody's expecting you to come off the sidewalks there. Go to the crosswalks. We, yes, we cannot stress that enough. Mm -hmm. And But again, people are out early and later, but these days are shorter, so it's already dark, and we want to make sure we see you. And I, I want to see your pets with a little vest on, too, mm -hmm. so yeah, I can I see like them, too. Idea. All right, and if you are with the Kofa High Class of 1978, your reunion is coming up November 9th 
and 10th and they have several different events taking place over the course of the weekend if you have not yet signed up for details or found out anything else that was taking place you can reach out to Kim James Thompson her email is kjtango at hotmail.com there's several others listed here on the flyer but I will share that on Facebook that way you can actually see it maybe you were good friends with one of the individuals on the committee but your 70 in the class of 78 reunion is coming up November 9th and 10th for the Copa Kings and don't forget the Yuma Police Department is doing their drug take back um, program tomorrow the sheriff's office too all, all the agencies, all are, the working agencies together. are working together and instead of having to actually get out and go to the their little vestibule area to drop it off all you need to do is just drive up and hand it to them and they will make sure that all of it is disposed of properly get all of those unwanted or old prescriptions out of your uh, Medicine yes, let's all be safe and responsible. And make sure you get those Cat Shirt Friday entries in by noon today. If you have 14 pets, you can enter them all. <laughs> I hope that they're spayed or neutered and you're a responsible pet owner. But sometimes people can't pick and they feel like they're playing favorites. Send them all in and yes. up your chances of winning. And if they have costumes, put them in it. Yes, yes. Halloween. Please. Last night I put my dog in his lobster costume and he hated us. Did you give us? A, did you get a picture? Uh, the kids took one. I'll have to have him. They took it when he walked to, and yeah. then we have like little cowboy. He hates it. I when think we that's dress the only up. reason we dress them up is for photos. Well, yeah, it's not practical just to walk around. Oh, Why right. not? Who said? Because my other cat, my dog has a big spider one too. He hits the walls. And <laughs> it goes above and has big legs. And, and it's it's some people think that it's not very nice. So, all right. Well, it's today, and you might have a wonderful weekend. We will see everyone Monday morning at nine o'clock. Unless you stop by and visit with Teresa tomorrow at our live broadcast. KCYK Yuma and KLJZ Yuma. Thank you, Anita. Of Thank course. you, Anna. Yeah, I want to see those pictures. <laughs> the Bye, Christmas. guys. Be safe. Bye. Have a good weekend. The Christmas one. Oh, you found it and it's like you put it only on the